Okay, we're going to have a look at making the seat um, shape, basically using sketches and then extruding the sketches. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off by creating a sketch. I'm going to put on this back um, plane here. Now um, I'm going to start off with a, a bottom sort of seat bit, which is going to be just a straight line, and I want it to go about 480. So if you don't see sizes big enough here, you zoom in or zoom out with your mouse so you can get to that right level. If you want to do it completely accurately, you can actually type it in. So if I type in 480 and press enter on my keyboard, it will draw that line. Not only does it draw the line, but it puts this dimension line on. So if I wanted to change it, if I decided it should be 490 or something, I can go back in and I can change that figure there, press enter again, and it'll change the line. I'm gonna do the same thing for the back part now. So I'm gonna come from the same starting point. I'm still in my sketch environment. I'm gonna go back to my line tool. I'm gonna to come up. This time I want to go up roughly 700. So I'm going to kind of work out the angle I want first of all. So this is the kind of the back of the seat. When I've got the angle right, I'm going to type in the number. So there's 700. And I'm going to press enter again. Same thing. If I wanted to change the dimension later on, I could do that. So I've got two lines. What I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to draw, draw roughly lines that are parallel to them. It doesn't matter if they're not exactly right. I can always change them later. But I'll go back to my line drawing tool. And I'm going to pick a position which I think is roughly the right thickness. So I'm going to do something like here. And I'm going to come across to about there, and I'm going to come up, and I'm going to click roughly there. So what I want to do now is I want to join the tops and bottoms of these lines. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see, and I'm going to change tools. So I'm still on the line drawing tool at the moment. I'm going to switch over, and I'm going to go for the arc tool. I'm going to go for three point arcs. Now the way this works is it wants the first point, the last point, and then the middle point. So if I want to put a bit of a curve on the top of this chair. I'll choose that. I'm going to go back down to the bottom now and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to join up these areas here. So if I hold my mouse pointer when I zoom, it stays in focus. And same thing, top, bottom, and then work out a middle one. Okay, something like that. Now you can see as soon as I've done that, the whole shape has filled in with this kind of light brown colour. That's telling me that that's now an enclosed shape, which is good because I can basically extrude a closed space. One thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to show you two different ways that you could put a hole that goes right the way through this chair. Now it might be that you, these holes would be used to affix the um, legs to it later on. But I'm just going to show you, it's up to you how you do yours, but I'm going to zoom in here. So I'm going to go for the um, circle tool this time and I'm going to go for a center diameter circle. I'm going to come roughly in the middle here and I'm going to pull out and I'm going to type in probably 16 and then press enter. So that should draw me a 16 millimeter diameter circle. I'm going to hit now stop sketch. That drops me back into the modeling environment. Okay, now you can see the shape that I've created. So what I want to do now is I'm going to extrude that shape. And what should happen is it should extrude all of it apart from with the circle here because I'm not going to select that as well. I'm going to leave that deselected. So if I now go to um, create an extrusion, it's saying what do I want to select? Select my profile, that's my profile. I can start dragging out this way, but I can basically type in. So how far do I want to go? Well, I'm going to make it about 480. So I'm going to type in 480. So this is the width of my chair now, and I'm going to hit OK. So I just wanted to show you, if I zoom in now, and I come down to where that hole shape was, that is actually now a hole that goes right the way through. OK, I'm going to show you one other thing that's similar to that, that's kind of useful for doing things with. Um, and what you might decide is you, you, you didn't know that you wanted to put a hole in before you designed it, but you want to put a hole in afterwards. So what we can do is we can use something which is very useful called offset planes. So this is how we do it. We're going to construct an offset plane, and we're going to construct it based upon this edge here. So all this is doing is, first of all, is saying it's like a transparent layer, like glass, but pull it a little bit away from your object. Okay, so that's my um, offset plane created. I'm going to say okay. Now I'm going to put a sketch on that offset plane. So I'm going to create a new sketch, use the offset plane as the place to do the sketch. Now that's overlaying what I've done. So I can zoom in here now. It looks like I'm doing it on the original sketch, but I'm actually doing it on the offset plane. And I'm going to go for the same thing. I'm going to go for a center diameter circle. I'm going to go in the middle. Let's zoom in a bit more so it's a bit more accurate. I'm going to go roughly, say, by here. And I'm going to go same thing, 16 mil. Okay. Now, if that's not quite right, I can grab it and I can re-move it and 
even go back afterwards and do that but when I'm happy with that I hit stop sketch again go back into my 3d view and now this thing here now is just a floating hole but what I can do is you've guessed it I can go for a extrusion of this but in the opposite direction so I can extrude right the way through my chair this time it's set as a cut operation that's correct I'll say okay I don't want it to combine it so I'm not making a bar going through I'm putting a hole through so that's an alternative way of doing the same thing okay I'm going to use an offset um, plane one more time just to show you something a bit cool you can do I'm going to put an offset plane on here so I'm going to construct an offset plane from here I'm going to move it out a little bit and I'm going to say okay and I'm going to put a sketch on there so I'm going to create a sketch again on an offset plane and this time I'm just going to put a shape on I'm going to cut out of the back so if I went for something like an ellipse just do a small ellipse up here okay it's not in the right position so I'll move that up oops I want to do a second one let's escape that a minute let's move this one somewhere more sensible and say stop sketch this time I'm going to do a extrusion of this one and I'm going to put it straight away through so you can see you can use these shapes to cut things out so there's my basic kind of chair shape now I could obviously do a few things to tidy that up so if I didn't want this sharp kind of angle here zoom in a little bit on that I could go for something like a fillet choose this and I can adjust either by dragging or by changing the figure up here and I'd probably do something similar on the, the underside on that big sort of squared sharp part here let's move it so you can see it a bit nicer and I do the same thing I'll modify a fillet on here and I'll push that one up slightly so I can play around with this as much as I wanted to I could do the same thing on the edges of any of these kind of bits of the shape to sort of smooth it all out in fact I didn't even have to have drawn straight lines in the first place if I wanted this sketch to have been curved I could do that and I can still at any point come back to the original sketches and I can right click and I can edit let's make sure I haven't selected it first I can edit the sketch so if I decided any of these angles or dimensions things were wrong I could change them at any point